was he struggling with mental health issues? No, I mean, listen, he was a 16 year old boy full of testosterone and energy, and he had so many dreams for the future. He um, wanted to travel the world. He wanted to go to New York University. He wanted to be a businessman. Not that he didn't have his struggles, just like every other teenager. Um, but, and the pandemic, you know, certainly shuts them down in a way that I think may help the impulsivity blossom. Right. And also they think they're immortal and infallible. And it puts a multiplier effect on yeah. the social media piece because they're all perched in front of a computer all day long. They get breaks, school's done, and they can't go out and play. So they play on their computers. And when you're looking for trouble, Snapchat is the dark web of the computer world for kids. And it's right there. What is your advice to other parents that are out there that are listening now? Do not let your children have a device or keep their device if they won't give you their username and password and the ability to log on to their device and check every once in a while that the username and passwords are actually working and which apps they're using. And you may feel like you're risking your relationship with your teen doing this, but take it from us. It's much better to do that than to be where we're sitting today. Yeah, and, and I would add to that, if they can use our son as a teachable moment and the, their child can look at our son and relate to him and see themselves in him, maybe it will hit home. And if we can save one life that way, it's worth it. We reached out to Snapchat for a statement and the company had this to say in part. Our deepest sympathies are with the family and friends of Samuel Berman Chapman. We are committed to working together with law enforcement in this case and in all instances where Snapchat is used for illegal purposes. You can read the rest of the statement on our website, thedoctorstv.com. They should make clear to their users that if they're gonna use their platform for illegal purposes, that they have to know that the privacy laws you know, are not going to apply to them and they will cooperate with the police. I would agree with you that, that sometimes those privacy laws are not in the best risk interest of everybody. Well, listen, our, our deepest condolences, heartfelt sorrow for your loss, Laura and Sam. I hope that it has an impact on saving lives in the future. I hope so too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The global pandemic has changed our lives. We've been through so much. As vaccines roll out, there is hope for you and hope for the future. I'm finally gonna get my vaccine. Through these challenging and historical times, the doctors have been by your side. This is why we went to medical school. This is why we're here. All May, we'll give you the inside track on health and wellness. Today, you've been granted exclusive access to get a behind the scenes look at COVID contraband. So you can get back to the life you deserve. We hope that today we inspired you all to be better because we will get through this. It's time to take your power back. It is getting better. There is hope. I love it. I think I can. I think I can. I can get there. You betcha. Absolutely. The doctor is now more than ever.